Okay, this is Yasmin. They're not quite 10 weeks old. This is a female giant schnauzer. She has her typical schnauzer coat, a real pretty coat. So she hasn't had her first grooming yet. That's scheduled next week. But what I want to show here is this puppy's physically tough, mentally tough. So, you know, if everything goes right, this puppy's going to turn out to be like her mama, Hattie. So we're very hopeful that we get the same temperament that Hattie had. I like the toughness that we're seeing from her right now. It's very easy to get giant salsers with prey drive. The challenge is to get the physical and mental toughness to go ahead and engage physically, grip and bite and hang on. So, pretty happy with this puppy at this point. Really no absolute 100% knowing where this is going to go, but all the indicators are good right now. Okay. The other thing we like about this puppy is her very strong prey drive. She's already been fed this morning. Our, our food drive, I'm sorry. So she's already been fed this morning and she's got food drive going on. So motivation is what it takes to train a dog. There's only two kinds of motivation. Gain something, avoid something. The more drive they have for food, the more drive they have for prey, the more we can push them and develop them. And we like the fact that this puppy has both prey drive and food drive. And she's very social. She wants to please. You can see her just stop, concentrate, look at me. So this is just a very quick piece of training that, that she's already learned in just her little short life. That she can't steal the food out of this pouch. She has to earn it. So we like the temperament. Once again, they're very young, but the attitude is good. So all we have to go on right now is just temperament. We love the temperament of this puppy. She's happy. She crates well. She travels well. Nothing bothers her. She has no nerve issues. That's it. And she's smart. She wants to please. She wants to work. She's in a great puppy raiser home that has horses. This is a big plus. This dog's going to be raised around horses. Other dogs, cats, barn animals, small dogs, all of that's going to come into play. Okay, so that's just a little bit of information on Yasmin. A lot more to come.